Have you ever thought the bigger planets must be heavier? If so, think again. Let's dive straight into ranking our solar system's planets, from least dense to most dense, uncovering some surprises along the way. Starting off, we have Saturn. Despite its massive size, Saturn is the least dense planet, with a density of just 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter, or 0.397 ounces per cubic inch. Fun fact, if you could find a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float since its density is less than water. Its composition? Mostly hydrogen and helium, the lightest elements in the universe. Next up is Uranus, with a density of 1.270 grams per cubic centimeter, or 0.734 ounces per cubic inch. This ice giant is filled with churning volatile substances like water, methane, and ammonia, what astronomers call ices. Meet Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Surprisingly, its density is only 1.326 grams per cubic centimeter, or 0.766 ounces per cubic inch. Like Saturn, Jupiter is a gas giant composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, making it massive, but not dense. Neptune comes next, with a density of 1.638 grams per cubic centimeter, or 0.947 ounces per cubic inch. This distant world is denser due to a higher concentration of ices, similar to Uranus, and heavier elements beneath its atmosphere. Now we venture to Mars. With a density of 3.9335 grams per cubic centimeter, or 2.275 ounces per cubic inch, the red planet starts our journey into the rocky realms. Its composition? An iron-rich core and a surface covered in basaltic rock. Venus steps up the scale at 5.243 grams per cubic centimeter or 3.032 ounces per cubic inch. Often called Earth's twin, Venus shares a similar size and composition to our home planet, with a thick rocky mantle and metallic core. Don't let its size fool you. Mercury, the smallest planet, packs a punch with a density of 5.427 grams per cubic centimeter, or 3.138 ounces per cubic inch. This tiny planet has a massive iron core, making up about 85% of its radius. Finally, Earth tops the chart as the most dense planet at 5.51 grams per cubic centimeter, or 3.187 ounces per cubic inch. Our home is a complex blend of a solid iron core, liquid outer core, mantle, and crust, layers that all contribute to its high density. So what's the deal? Why are the smaller planets denser and closer to the Sun? It all comes down to the planet's formation in the early solar system. When our solar system was forming, the intense heat and solar winds from the young Sun pushed lighter elements like hydrogen and helium away from the inner regions. However, heavier elements like iron, nickel, and silicon could withstand the scorching temperatures, leading to the formation of the dense, rocky terrestrial planets close to the Sun. Further out, cooler temperatures allowed lighter gases to accumulate, giving rise to the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The difference isn't just a trivial fact. It influences atmospheric conditions, and even the potential for harboring life. Dense rocky planets can have molten cores, generating magnetic fields that protect atmospheres, crucial for life as we know it. Density reveals the hidden secrets of planetary formation and evolution. It's a key that helps unlock the mysteries about our place in the cosmos. Diving deeper, scientists use planetary density to hypothesize about exoplanets orbiting distant stars. When they detect a planet in another solar system, its density helps them guess whether it's rocky like Earth or composed of ice and gas like Neptune, a crucial step in the search for extraterrestrial life. Remember, in space, things aren't always as they seem. Sometimes the smallest objects hold the heaviest truths. Curious to learn more about our solar system and the cosmos? Hit that subscribe button and join me as we continue to explore the wonders of our universe.
you can show your support by hitting the like button, commenting, and sharing this video to help spread the knowledge. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm glad to have you here. I would also like to thank this amazing community for the ongoing support. I appreciate you all. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.